Okay, I'm here with drummer extraordinaire Mike Bolitsky of the Sadies. Mike, how are you today? Good, Kyle. Thanks for having me. Well, it's it's nice to talk to you again. It was a few years ago we had a chat. Yeah. Maybe, what, two years ago? Yeah, I think so. I remember that. It, we were, I think I was like at a gas station or something on the phone. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was good to... I'd meet you over the phone, and then I think you came to the show later that night, Yeah, right? in fact, I met you pre-show by coincidence. You were having your That's pre-show right. uh, meal. That's right, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah I, I totally remember that. That's right. You, we were at like a little, having a snack across the street from the club, and you were there, and you just happened to by hear, hear us talking English, I think, or something. By right? coincidence, yeah. 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 you were there with some buddies. Yeah, that's right. Well, you're back. You're back in town, and uh, now you were you were in the in the Basque country yesterday, yep. right? Playing. Yep. Now, when you're on tour in a place like Spain, do you sample the food there? The Basque country oh, yeah. is known for its oh, food, yeah. so no, we've had so, a, f a phenomenal feast yeah? last night. Yeah, we had a lot of gambas, a lot of uh, uh, polpo. Yeah, <laughs> uh, just incredible food, and some of the cider they pour like from there. The, you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah, it was a it was a, a uh, high point of, of culinary experiences, for sure. And you have a little time for tourism, I guess, sometimes on a day off, yeah. right? Yeah, we so, have one day off on this tour. That's I think it's a 12-day tour, and our day off is tomorrow in Madrid. So I'm going to go check out some museums. And, nice. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Now, you always seem to make time for Spain when you're touring, whenever you have a new record. And yep. once again, you've done it. And why is Spain maybe better for you than, I don't know, France or Germany? Or is it is it is that the case? It definitely is. Yeah. I I mean, we seem to do OK in Paris, but we play there like once every five to ten years. Yeah. So I don't I don't know what it is about Spain. I, I know that we have. Uh, um, well, we love it because the people are incredibly nice. Um, the cult, the culture is really um, conducive to our lifestyles, and uh, um, I, we just connected here. We made a part of one of our records here, um, New Seasons. We recorded part of it um, in Puerto Santa Maria with Paco Loco and Gary Loris, and when we were there a guy from the label Houston party Jaime came by and uh, and we met and he wanted to put our records out and so I guess he's done a good job of promotion and cool yeah. very cool yeah all right so you know and and yeah he does a good job evidently with the promotion right so yeah. he's involved with the yeah. the local promoter who gets the word out and people seem to come out to your shows yes and and I cool. think that that's what you know that's what it takes is it takes somebody uh, on the ground in the country that you're trying to make headway in who is a fan and who's like your champion and he, You know the people at Houston party have been great for the Sadies. They've spread the word and it was you know was, Things get better every time we come here. Excellent. Well, hopefully you'll continue to enjoy this tour that you're sort of halfway through I guess, right? Yeah um, now how many shows do you play in the run of a year? Because you guys are known as a very hard-working band. You play a lot of gigs, yeah, right? we do. It's hard to say because it varies from year to year. This year will be particularly busy because we have a new record out. Um, but we always stay busy. You know, like, we're not the kind of band that goes on tour for six months and then takes six months off. We're, you know, we'll go on tour for three weeks, come home for five days, go on tour for ten days, you know. We do have a big tour of the States coming up uh, that's about six weeks long. Um, and, you know, we'll probably take, I don't know, 10 days off after wow. that or something. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I actually have to go back to Halifax for a family thing. Okay. So. And is that the way it works the, for, I guess, for working bands where maybe physical album sales aren't what they used to be uh, i'm just guessing for a yeah. lot for a lot of bands with so many people downloading stuff yeah. whether it be legally or illegally yeah. downloading stuff and i guess you have to find other ways you know you rely yeah. more on the live show is that the case yeah i think that's probably the case it's hard for me to be a judge of that because i've been in the sadie so long and we always have done tons of shows so i don't our record sales i guess have probably plateaued maybe but I have no idea really where we'd be in if there was no downloading. Like I can only assume yeah. we would continue to grow because we don't lose, like we haven't slid back. Right. We just haven't 
you keep gaining popularity yeah, with exactly. each record. So I think that uh, I th I don't think that I can be an honest judge of of whether or not bands need yeah. to play live shows. We've always played live shows. Yeah. Like when nobody knew who we were and now that people know who we are, we're still playing live shows. I, so. I guess if you take any moment in time, the present is always different from the past anyway and things are yeah. constantly evolving one they way are. or another, they right? Are. They're, they're not static, so. Mm. Uh, you guys do a lot of collaborations and one on this, your current record, Northern Passages, you record with Kurt Vile. Yeah. And you've recorded with people like, including Garth Hudson, right? Yeah, Nico Case, yeah. and even even Neil Young. You did some stuff with yep. Neil Young, is that right? Yeah. You seem to have a good cha taste in choosing collaborators, uh -huh. uh, it, it, but it all it always comes back to the Sadie sound. It seems. Yeah, I'd but, like to think that people yeah. are are choosing the Sadies for our sound, not our ability to to um, metamorphosize into what somebody wants. What us someone to else be. wants. Yeah. So uh, I. You know, I think that's the case, and whether it is or isn't, we always sound like the Sadies, so... Cool. I plug on anyone trying to change us. As it should be. <laughs> As it should be, right? And how do most of these collaborations come to be? Do you... Do you does your, do your band go out um, looking, or is it always someone who contacts you guys? Uh, it tends to usually come from a pre-existing relationship, like... Um, you know, we'll... We'll, know, we'll see, meet somebody when we're on tour as, like their opening band or vice versa they're opening for us in the Kurt Vile case that's how we met Kurt um, and then uh, so a relationship is forged and then you know through hanging out and late night cloud talk mm -hmm. maybe <laughs> yeah, right. the idea gets thrown out like hey we should collaborate and yeah. you know before you know it snowballs rolling downhill and it's, it takes on a life of its own and there we are in the studio recording with somebody. <laughs> cool. You did a full record with uh, with Gord Downey, of course, very yep. famous for the Tragically Hip and, yep. and sort of a Canadian icon, really. Uh, what was it like working with him? Great, great. He's, uh, he's a great friend of mine. Uh, we both share a love for the same ice hockey team, so we're constantly right. Good. texting and calling each other about ways that they're screwing up yeah. <laughs> or doing well. And You're yeah. talking about the, the Maple Leafs no, then or the, the, or the Bruins. Boston Bruins? Yeah. 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 yeah okay. I was originally born in Boston, so okay. that's one of the crosses I had to bear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Um, and now you, you, you've played with a lot of different bands yourself, right? But I guess yeah. more back I'm old. before, I'm, but, I'm old, yeah. but do, you, do you still play with other bands? A little bit. I have just like a pickup band that I play with in Toronto with uh, Basil Donovan from Blue Radio plays bass in it. Okay. And, uh, a guy named Don Rook plays um, plays like a lap steel and Doug Paisley is the singer. Um, he's got a solo career. Mm -hmm. Great. He's a great songwriter. Um, Chuck Ehrlichman plays piano. It's just a bunch of local guys and when we're, we're not on tour we get together and and play country covers yeah, right. once a week or every Wednesday night at a place called The Cameron. Um, yeah, that's about it, pretty much. I mean, you know, every now and then I'll play with my friend Joe Pernice, but not so much. And we have we have another band with Norman Blake from Teenage Fan Club called okay. uh, The New Mendicants, but we don't really do tons. You're, you're, you're ob obviously, we were just talking about your tour schedule with the Sadies. You don't have a heck of a lot of free time, yeah. I suppose. Yeah. You're, and you're neither busy. does, you know, anyone who's in a working band doesn't have a ton of time, so. Right, right. And I won't keep you long. I know you're going to try to get a pre-show <laughs> pre disco, pre <laughs> disco nap in. One quick one here. I've noticed something in song titles. you got a song called Another Year Again, Another Day Again, Another Tomorrow Again, <laughs> Another Yesterday Again, Another Season Again. Yeah. Well, what's next? Another month again? <laughs> yeah, that would be good. Right. Yeah, that's good. My Thanks. suggestion. Thanks. Throw we'll, it in the hat. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that for sure. Who, uh, who, who picks the song, or is, is it always some, whoever writes the? Who, who writes the songs typically? Is uh, there is it a collaborative effort? It used to be more so. It seems like it's more like more like Dallas writes most of them. Travis writes a few, and I don't know. Maybe every now and then someone will pick up a, a line from me or Sean. And, Mm. But uh, yeah, usually the person who writes the song names the song. Right. Yeah. Right. 
Okay, cool. Well, I'll leave you to it because I know you want to get a quick nap in, and I'm looking forward to the show as well. I'll let Thanks, you get Carl. get your get your power back. A great great talking to you again, and you uh, too, man. and I hope to see you again next time. Right on. All right, take so, care. Shen, handshake on the radio. You got it. <laughs> right. Cool. Hey. Thanks.